What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Pilates workout with a small ball. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Just find a comfortable spot down on your mat, whether that's cross-legged or legs out in front of you. We'll just start by bringing the hands to the tops of the knees. Take a nice deep inhale. You can bring the shoulders so they come up towards the ears. Fill your belly and your chest up with air. And then we'll take a big exhale, drop the shoulders down and back, feel them slide down into um, their sockets. Big inhale, we bring the shoulders up, fill everything up with air. And we exhale, drop the shoulders down and back. We do two more like that, inhaling to lift the shoulders, lift the chest, fill the belly, big exhale, drop the shoulders down. Good, last one. Good. From here, we're gonna take the ball with us. We'll flip over to the side. Now, I like to start with articulation, so we're gonna start in a half rollback. I want you to bring your feet so they come about mat's distance apart. Reach that ball out in front of you. I want you to press in with the ball with the palm of your hand. Reach the fingertips nice and long. We're gonna inhale to sit up tall. We'll exhale, draw the belly button in towards the spine, start to roll back onto your hips. Inhale at your lowest point, and then take another big exhale, draw the belly button in pull hips to ribs. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, we lower it down. Good. Next time that you lower, we're gonna add in a little bit of rotation with the ball. We'll rotate over towards the right. Good, exhale, take it through center. Inhale, over to the left. Good, we draw the belly button in. We come all the way back up. We'll keep moving like that. Rolling it down, over to the right, through center, over to the left. Good, we squeeze and lift. We'll do two more like that. Last one, I want you to roll back. We're gonna rotate to the right, hold it right there. We're gonna give the ball 10 pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna take our body pulse one inch forward, one inch back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come through center, rotate right over to the left, pulse that ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, when we pulse forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring everything up. Lengthen your legs out right in front of you. We're gonna take the ball, just put it in between your, um, in your, between your feet. So I want you to keep your feet parallel. The ball is gonna give us something to squeeze onto, onto as we go into our roll up. Reach those arms out in front of you. We're gonna inhale, sit up nice and tall. We exhale, draw the belly button in, start to roll back onto your hips. Squeeze onto that ball to stay active in the inner thighs. Roll all the way down, inch by inch. Heads the last thing to lower. We reach those arms up overhead. We exhale, lift the arms up above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest, squeeze onto that ball, push down into the hips, push down into your heels, come all the way up through seated, and then fold forward. Good, inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, we roll it back. Ah, squeeze onto that ball, stay connected to the inner thighs, head comes down, arms drop down overhead. Big exhale, we lift. Oh my gosh, squeeze it up. Ah, roll it forward. Grab onto that ball this time. As you roll back, we've got the ball between the hands. Then we're gonna inhale, lower all the way down, ball drops overhead. Good, we'll take it all the way up, pull hips to ribs. Come all the way up through seated, put that ball between the feet. We'll do that one more time. Roll it down, squeeze onto that ball. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Lower, 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 there you go. Head down, arms up overhead, big exhale. We tuck and roll all the way up. We grab onto the ball. 
and we lower it down. When you come down, you get to stay there. Lucky you. Okay, roll everything down to that mat. I want you to bend your knees, bring your feet down, just drop the knees from side to side. Take a deep breath. All right, from here, we're going to take um, the ball between, let's see, we'll go between the inner thighs. I want you to lift the knees up so they come up above your hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. We're gonna take an inhale. We'll dip both toes down towards the mat. Exhale, we'll squeeze through the low abs, lift the knees back above the hips. Inhale, tap the toes. Exhale, lift. For four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Knees come up above the hips. We squeeze that ball for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one. Good, hold those knees right there. We're gonna lift the arms up above the shoulders. We'll take a big exhale, crunch up through the head, neck and shoulders, hands outside of the hips. Once you get there, we tap the toes, we lift the knees, we inhale, lower it back down. Big exhale, crunch and reach. Tap the toes, lift the knees, inhale, drop it back down. As you lift the knees, you wanna squeeze onto the ball to find a connection into the inner thighs, the pelvic floor, the low abs. We'll do three more like this. This is three. That's two. And last one. Good. Everything comes down, we're gonna grab onto that ball, take it so it comes up between the ankles. Now you can point your toes, try to keep your feet parallel here. Um, hands can stay down by your sides for right now, and we're just gonna inhale, drop the legs down. We exhale, squeeze onto that ball, lift the legs up. We lower and we lift. Now if you want to, you've got the option to come up into an upper body crunch, hands behind the head, elbows go out nice and wide. I'm gonna stay down on the mat though, just kinda how I'm feeling today. Two more like this, two. And last one, we're gonna lift the legs back up to 90, hold it right there, flex your feet, squeeze that ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower your legs to 45, keep the feet flexed, pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring everything in, hug your knees in. Take a breath, you can rock from side to side if that feels good. Um, we're gonna shoot the legs back up above the hips. I want you to roll the ball so the left leg comes to the top, right leg underneath. We're gonna hold it right there, head stays down, upper body stays down, and now we inhale, drop the legs down. You're pressing into the ball evenly with both legs. Exhale, we lift back up. Now if you feel good here, hands behind the head. If you want something a little bit more advanced, as you lower, we're gonna lift that right arm up. As we lift, we take an oblique crunch, reaching to the outside of that left leg. Press into that ball evenly. It's hard, right? The ball's gonna move a little bit and that's fine. We do three more like this. Three. For two. And last one. Good, come up through center, hands come down, we roll the ball so the right leg comes to the top. And again, we just start to inhale lower, well exhale lift. If you're ready to come up into that crunch right away, go ahead and take it up. If you added in the oblique crunch, now's a good time to come up. You can reach that arm up overhead, inhale, drop the arm back. Exhale, we crunch over to the outside of the right leg. Feel how that ball gets a little bit wobbly? That's okay, it's nothing you can't handle. Just press down with the back of the leg on the right side and the like top of your shin on the left leg. We do three more like this. Three, two, last one. Good, everything comes in, grab onto that ball and then just take a second, rock your hips from side to side. Nice deep breath, okay. <laughs> From here, we are gonna roll over so that we come on to our side, onto our left side. We'll take the ball, we're just gonna put the ball um, right underneath our side waist. So, 
kind of like in the middle of the rib cage, right where your waist is, that's where I want the ball to be. And we're gonna just kind of lean down onto it. Left forearm is gonna come down to your mat and I want you to banana your legs out so they're out of 45. Oh my gosh, I'm like way the heck off my mat. If you uh, get to a point that you wanna bend your knees in underneath you for a little bit of extra support, go ahead and do that. Right hand comes to your hip, we're gonna lift that right leg up in line with the hip. All we're gonna do is kick the leg forward, point your toe, exhale, we flex the foot, we kick it back. Inhale, kick forward, exhale, flex the foot, take it back. Now when your leg comes back, I want your leg to be right in line with your hip. So we've got the bottom leg at 45, other leg comes to 90, okay? Now once you feel good here, we're gonna add in some movement with the right arm. We'll shoot that right arm up over the shoulder. As we inhale and kick forward, we're gonna bring that right arm back behind us. As we sweep back, we'll take the right arm up and over. We'll rotate the shoulders towards um, our mat and you can kick that right leg back a little bit behind 90. So inhale, we kick forward, drop the right arm behind you. Exhale, we sweep the leg back. We bring that right arm forward, drop the shoulders down. Good, all the while we're keeping the hip stack. That's the most challenging part, getting this big hip extension and hip flexion. So you can kind of press into the ball a little bit as you rotate the shoulders down. It's gonna help. We'll do three more like this. Three. This will be two. And last one. Good, from here right leg can come down, right hand comes down. We'll take a deep breath and I want you to um, stay up on your left forearm. We're gonna bend the right knee. You'll squeeze onto that ball a little bit with the right leg and we're gonna keep going with that um, hip extension, hip flexion. So flex your foot, squeeze onto that ball using the strength of your hamstring. You're gonna inhale, bring your knee forward of your hip. Exhale, squeeze that ball, push the foot back. Good. Same thing we just did, now just a little bit more work through that right hamstring. And we don't have the support underneath us from the ball, right? So that makes it a little bit trickier. Three more like this, three. For two. And last one. I want you to bring your knee so it comes right in line with your hip, pulse that ball for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze the ball, we'll pulse the leg one inch up, one inch down. Good for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Good, drop the right leg down, grab onto that ball. We're gonna roll all the way over so we come onto our belly. We'll do an assisted swan. So um, legs come out behind you, about mat's distance apart. That ball is gonna come into your, um, not into your hands, but right about where your wrists are. So it's gonna rest onto your forearms. Arms go out in front of you. We'll bring the forehead down to the mat. You'll take a big exhale, roll that ball in towards your hands as you lift the chest. Inhale, we roll it right back out. This is like my favorite way to take swan. And you'll know with the first wrap if you have to adjust the positioning of the ball. So if you've got like a really flexible spine, you've got pretty solid back extension, you may be able to start with the ball a little bit closer towards the elbows. For me, I'm pretty close to the wrist. This is my favorite exercise with the ball. Three more like this. This is three. This will be two. And last one. Good, from here everything comes in, grab onto that ball. You can just roll over onto your right hip. I have to swing around because I don't want you to look at my butt. Like how rude, right? Uh, we'll come over onto the right side. Right forearm is gonna come down. We'll take that ball, you put it right underneath your um, waist. 
All right, forearm down on the mat. We're gonna bring those legs out at a 45, okay? So we're not like dumping our weight down into the ball, right? So we shouldn't look like this. We're kind of pressing up and away. So if you have to adjust it right away, go ahead and adjust it, that's fine. We'll lift the left leg up so it comes right in line with your hip. I feel kind of whack. We're gonna inhale, you point your toe, kick your leg forward, exhale, flex your foot, sweep it right back. Now, if you did Saturday's workout, we did literally this exercise, right? So you're familiar, it's nothing like new to you. That's good. Now, once you're feeling good here, probably the next time you sweep your leg back, we're gonna reach that left arm up overhead. As you kick your leg forward, we bring the left arm back behind us, finding a little twist. We'll exhale, sweep it forward, square the shoulders off towards the mat. So you bring that left arm forward. Inhale, we sweep it forward, bring your arm back, exhale, we sweep back, square the shoulders to your mat. Now notice how that ball starts to feel like it's rolling around underneath you. Try to stop that from happening, it's hard. Three more like this, three. For two, and last one. Woo, good, bring the left leg down, grab onto your ball. Oh man, you're gonna stay supported through that right forearm. Bend the left knee, flex your foot, okay. Bring your leg so it comes up in line with the hip. You're gonna inhale, bring the knee forward of the hip, exhale, squeeze onto that ball, push the foot back so your knee comes down in line with the hip. We find that nice hip extension. Good, inhale, flex at the hip. Exhale, push it back, extend. I think I said one pattern of breathing and now I'm doing the reverse. Both work, right? It doesn't matter how you breathe so long as you breathe. Good, three more like this, three. For two. Last one. Bring your knee down in line with the hip. Hold it right there. We're gonna squeeze that ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze that ball. We lift and lower the leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, grab onto that ball, drop the left leg, take a deep breath, okay? From here, we're gonna pop ourselves up so we come up through to a tabletop position. I want you to take that ball, take it right between the inner thighs, okay? Hands come down, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And again, if you did Saturday's workout, you'll recognize knees off here as well. We're gonna take a big exhale. I want you to squeeze onto that ball, lift the knees off of your mat. Inhale, drop the knees back down, reset. Big exhale, squeeze that ball, lift the knees. Inhale, drop it down. Three more like that. Three, two, last one. Hold it right there, squeeze that ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. When we're gonna tap the knees down for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, I want you to extend the knees, walk the feet back just a little bit so you find that high plank. We'll take a big exhale, lift the hips, fold the body in half, find that down dog, pike, hang out if you want it to be a down dog. Inhale, we shift it forward, come back into that plank. 10 more like that, 10. Nine. This will be eight. Good. This is seven. Six. Oh, ten was too many. <laughs> this is gonna be five. Four. Good, for three. And this one we're gonna add in a push-up. For two. 
one more push up. And last one. Good, bring it forward, drop the knees, press the hips back, reach the arms nice and long. Nice child's pose, pressing down into your mat, pressing your chest down, opening up the shoulders and the armpits, honestly, good. Okay, we're gonna take things up. I want you to grab onto that ball. Oh, adjust the leggings, very important part of the workout. Okay, oh, I'm tired, you guys. Okay, we're gonna take that ball. You'll put it behind the uh, left knee, the knee pit. And then we're gonna bring the arms down. Right forearm is gonna come down. Left hand is going to stay down on your mat. So we're in a forearm hand tabletop. Flex your foot. You're gonna exhale, push your foot up towards the ceiling. Inhale, take it right back down. Just hover the knee above the mat. Lift, lower, we lift and lower. Good for four more, four, three, two, last one. Press up, hold it right there. Pulse the ball for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the ball, pulse the leg for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your knee down while well, exhale, open the knee out for a fire hydrant. Inhale, bring the knee right back in. Now check in with your body. I want you thinking about pressing up and away from your mat. Right, so we're light in the hand, light in the forearm, not dumping the shoulders. Good, four more, four, three, two, one, open, hold, pulse the ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse your knee, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, everything comes in. We're gonna pop on up. I want you to take the ball. You're gonna take the ball, oh God, underneath the left hand. Okay, underneath the left hand. Now we're gonna take the right leg. We're gonna shoot the right leg back. We'll lift and lower that right leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring everything in. Kind of hard to press into that ball, right? We'll do the same thing, other side. Ball comes behind the right hand, left hand stays down. We shoot the left leg back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, ah, three, two, one, take that left knee in. Okay, good. I'm gonna flip around. We're gonna do that same forearm tabletop. Okay, so take the ball behind the right knee. Left forearm's gonna come down. Right hand stays down. I want you to flex the foot on that right leg. We're gonna exhale, push the foot up. Inhale, bring it back in. You can hover the knee above the mat. Four more, four, for three, this will be two. Last one, hold, pulse the ball for 10, nine, out of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze that ball, hold the tension, pulse the leg, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the knee in. We exhale, open the right knee out. Inhale, close it back down. Check in with your forearm and your hand. Can you press up and away a little bit more? Good. Can you draw the belly button in a little bit more so we're not arching the back? Four more for four, for three, two. Last one, we open, hold, pulse that ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tiny pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring everything in. Oh my gosh, grab onto that ball. We're gonna do one more 
One more little swan here, because I like swan with the ball, <laughs> like all the way down, all the way down onto the belly. Take that ball, you can bring it right underneath the wrist, maybe even a little bit forward than that. Tops of the feet press down into your mat. We'll take a big exhale, lift ourselves up, extend that back, inhale, lower it back down. We'll just do four more like that. Four. For three. Two. Last one. Ooh, good. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, everything's gonna come in. Take a second, take a child's pose. Arms reach long in front of you. Hips to heels, good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna swing things around. We'll lay down onto our back. We have one more little bit to go right here. Okay, so just go ahead and lay everything down. Head comes down. Feet are gonna be about hips distance uh, apart for right this second. We're gonna reach the ball so it goes up above the chest and you'll take a big exhale. You'll crunch up through the head, neck, and shoulders, push the ball between the legs. Inhale, we draw everything back down. Stop that ball above the chest. Big exhale, crunch and reach. Inhale, take it back down. Good. Okay, can you keep your feet down on the mat as you crunch up? It's rhetorical, I know you can. Four more like this, four. For three. Two. <laughs> and last one. Crunch and hold, keep it right there. You pulse that ball, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We pulse from our core for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring everything down. Hands stop over the chest. We're gonna lift one leg up at a time. Legs come up into a V, only about mat's distance apart, so just a little bit wider than your hips, but not much wider than that, okay? Same thing, we're gonna take a big exhale. You crunch up through the head, neck, and shoulders, push the hands between the legs. Inhale, we lower it all the way back down. Head lowers down, hands over the chest. Exhale, we crunch and reach. Inhale, we take it down. Good, four more like this. This is four. This will be three. For two. Last one, we crunch and hold. Keep it right there, pulse that ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the ball, 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower everything down, hug the knees in, rock your hips from side to side. Take a nice deep breath. Good, we're gonna do one more little thing right here as our finisher. We're gonna take an alternating single leg teaser. It's gonna be really fun, I promise. Put your legs all the way out in front of you. Take a nice deep breath, okay? We're gonna take the ball, bring it over to uh, the top of the right hip. You'll take a big exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, start to lift the right leg, push that ball up towards the toes. Inhale, we lower it right back down. Let that ball roll down the leg. We move the ball over to the left leg. Big exhale, tuck the chin in, roll that ball up the left leg. Good, inhale, take it back down. Then we'll do three more each side, rolling to the right. Exhale, crunch and reach. Good. Over to the left. Oh, two. I'm cheating, I'm using momentum. I shouldn't do that, but I am, I don't care. <laughs> Good, last one each side, big exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, lift that right leg up. Whew. Inhale, lower it down. Oh my gosh, last one on the left. Oh, ouch, everything comes down. Grab onto that ball, bend the knees, drop them from side to side, nice deep breath. Good. 
Good, you did great, okay. I want you to bring your legs out into a butterfly so we open the knees out nice and wide, soles of the feet come together. Take a nice deep breath right here where you can literally toss the ball off to the side. We're done with it. I want you to take one big inhale, fill your belly up with air. And big exhale, let it go. Let all that air find the little tight spots in your body. Give them a little extra energy. Good, put your legs all the way out in front of you. Arms come up above the chest. We tuck and roll all the way up. Come up through seated, take a big forward fold to release the hamstrings, the calves, the back. Good, deep breath right here. And then when you're ready, go ahead and roll yourself up through seated. You made it to the end. You guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I'll see you in our next video. I just get rid of